nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. Here on the channel, we've been having ourselves some really good discussions about graffiti, getting in depth into a lot of various topics that you guys have been giving your feedback on. You see, I got talking to some writers about why it is certain writers, not all of them, will go ahead and specifically go out of their way to hit murals. That mentality absolutely blew my mind. You can have a graffiti artist that does both legal and illegal graffiti. They do their share of murals, but they also get up in the streets. And sometimes these artists travel. Sometimes they go around the world, especially the more successful ones, the more known ones, but they still get up in the streets. They put in work. However, all some writers realize and all they see is the legal wall, the finished product, the mural. And they don't realize it was done by somebody who actually puts in work. Somebody who actually deserves and gets respect. Not realizing that, they go ahead and go over the mural. Thinking that it's just some 100% legal wall graffiti artist who hasn't paid their dues. You see, I've talked to a lot of graffiti artists about this, a lot of writers about this. And you know what's funny? I realized a lot of the higher skill writers don't have this mentality. A lot of the higher skill writers don't go over legal walls, specifically to target muralists. Because they understand that some of those people, some of those muralists, some of those legal only graffiti artists actually just keep what they do in the streets on the DL and they don't tell anybody. And that's the big part of graffiti. Graffiti was always meant to be one of those things that you don't kiss and tell them about. And some of those people still adopt that mentality. While I will admit not everybody does, and there certainly are a fair share of muralists out there that never touch an illegal wall, and that's perfectly okay if you ask me, there is a good amount that do. And especially nowadays, there's a good amount that travel. Meaning, you can't necessarily accurately say, this muralist has never gotten up in the streets. It puts you in one of those positions where you're better off just knowing that you don't know. Now this is the part where some people would say, no, screw all legal walls, and I'm gonna go over any legal wall I see just because of the fact that it's legal. In which case, I would ask, why didn't you go over five points? And if you don't live in the US or close to New York, would you have gone over five points? I'm thinking you wouldn't have. And at this point, some people may say, well, John, that's five points. Of course I wouldn't, but I would go over any other legal wall. And my question to that is, what's the difference? It's still just a legal wall. You still don't know if the person doing a legal wall is 100% legal or if they keep it a little bit more secret. And number four, you still don't realize if they traveled and actually do work back home. Personally, I think going over the legal wall is a little bit useless and redundant, only because at the end of the day, it's still graffiti. I know some people may not see it that way, but art forms are based off their fundamental set, and it, matter of fact, is still graffiti. And legal walls are largely responsible to how the public responds to graffiti in the first place, giving it some acceptance and some respect, allowing the art form to move forward in its evolution, both in the illegal side and the legal side. So while you may not like the legal side, it still has a place and benefits the overall art form as a whole. And having the infighting within graffiti against legal walls or vice versa only sets the art form back. All this negativity and infighting is precisely why a lot of graffiti artists who have experience agree and say that graffiti artists are the worst part of graffiti. And I think we can come to a general understanding between us all if we all just have a general understanding. A general understanding of not only the art form as a whole, but how it functions. I think that's important. But that's my two cents on the topic. What do you guys think in the comments down below? Let's try to have a civil discussion about this. I know it's YouTube, it's a little difficult to ask for a civil discussion, but let's let's try to have a genuine discussion about this. Now, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the like button. It helps out a bunch. And if you're new here, feel free to join the smartest graffiti community anywhere online. We have the best how to do graffiti tutorials you can possibly find. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. And until then, peace.